all very Blair Witch, isn't it? It's only 6.30 and uh, I'm in the tent. It gets dark early, as you know, this time of year. Morning. Day one. Packs heavy. We're just making our way from Brodick anti-clockwise. Probably about 10 miles today. So there's a lovely view of Goat Fell, the highest peak on the island. You can go up there on this route, but my pack weighs about 25 kilos at the moment, so I'm not doing that. This forestry road's in better shape than some of the ones in Birmingham. I set up camp. I've just uh, been down to a river to get some water. It's so fresh, I'm not gonna filter it. I do have a filter, but uh, no requirement for this uh, straight, fast flowing river water. It's uh, Monday, day one, 20 past four, and uh, radio's been okay. Spoke to Callum this morning. So Isle of Arran, EU123, people spot you. Monday you're doing the whole island. So first class. So Tom, really proud of you, mate. Um, over, over. Yeah, Mike, Mike, zero. Romeo, Mike, Yankee, portable. Just started raining heavily, so uh, I'll just show you where, what I've done. But I've rigged up a, an extra bit of overhead cover here. There's the antenna. Hello, day two. Got up this morning, frost on the tent, frost on the solar panel. Up early, watched the sun rise, it was beautiful. I'm halfway now from Sanux, where I camped last night, and we're heading up to the top of the island. I'm at the Cock of Aaron next to the cave, Ian will be pleased. Beautiful spot, long tiring day, the path was brutal. Mike, Mike, zero, Romeo, Mike, Yankee, portable. Day three, uh, last night was brutal, I'm not gonna lie. About 50 mile an hour winds all night, so not much sleep. This morning I walked about six miles over some pretty brutal terrain actually. It's a coast path, but it's up and down, like a fiddler's elbow, as they say. And uh, the plan was to go to a village called Locranza and pick up some supplies and then uh, carry on. But uh, sadly, uh, I went to Locranza and it was shut. You're five and five, five and five. What the, uh, what the power, what is your power? Uh, 10 watts, 10 watts, over. So you're doing a fantastic job. Roger, Whiskey Papa, four, Lima, Mike, Mike, zero, Romeo, Mike, Yankee, you're five and nine, five and nine, over. Hey, many, many times. Friday evening, it's uh, quarter past 11. I did about 15 miles. I'm now near Black Waterfoot, which is on the sort of southwest part of the island. Propagation is amazing and almost probably because tomorrow is the ARRL SSB contest. So I've had an amazing evening on the radio. Puerto Rico, America, Canada, Estonia, all over Europe, all on five watts. I'm amazed by this antenna. Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Danny Boy, hello mate, M0XXT, can you hear me okay Tom? Yeah, I can actually, no problem, just a sec, uh, just turning up. Lovely morning, hopefully going to stay here, get the charge up again and uh, move on. But uh, slept well, it's a nice little tent this. The American contest is crazy. Lots of American contacts um, on five watts, which uh, excites them for a low power station. It's a beautiful morning today, and um, I'm going to wait a little bit to get some sun on the solar panels and then move further south. I'm just north of a place called Black Waterfoot on the southwest part of Arran. So, brilliant day yesterday, long walk, about 15, 16 k, and uh, on we go. The X Commander is working fantastically well. Um, it takes me about 
10 minutes to put up even in rough terrain like this and I've also got a couple of the wind on straps that Callum gave me so thank you Callum but it's, it hasn't fallen down ever uh, since I've been here guying it is just a matter of practice Broadsword calling Danny Boy uh, Danny Boy returning to Broadsword good morning Callum how are you uh, very good, old boy. Very good. I've got... Uh... The other thing I'd like to try this evening is to do some 80 metres. And uh, there's two options with that, really. One is to use an inverted L, or one is to make a dipole. And we did make a dipole, um, but it was quite heavy to carry, and so I decided to just bring 19.5 metres of wire. You can see the normal radial pattern. But what I've done is as well as the 10 meter 20 meter and 40 meter elements i've added an 80 meter element to the base of the radiating plate there and it literally is a very low to the ground sloper Sunday morning, uh, early, cold, it was cold last night, I reckon it went down to about minus three, so a uh, bit of a, bit of a frost on everything, radio wasn't so good last night, propagation I think changed, I'm just uh, having a hot drink just to try and warm up, but it's going to be a lovely day, sun's just poking itself up over there. Okay, well, we didn't get a QSO yesterday. Because... Uh, I'm here quite early, about, uh, I'd say about 10, 10 30, and set up, and they put me in a good spot. I'm sheltered a bit from the wind in the tent. Um, and the campsite's empty pretty much, so I'm not going to disturb anyone with the antennas or anything. So it's all good, all good. And the great news is, Callum, that I've got electricity, so um, as I'm talking to you, I'm charging the little battery as well. Um, uh, I don't think it's affecting any hum or anything, but it's working well over.